morning everyone. Today we are going to be making an underwater puppet theatre. So what you're going to need is you're going to need a cereal box or so just any kind of box. You are going to need some sea creatures. So I will link these pages down in the comment, comment section. But we're going to, or if you want to draw some on a bit of paper and cut them out, you can. Um, or you could cut some images from a, a magazine, for example. So we're going to use a few different ones. This is going to be the background for our theatre. And these are going to be our puppets and little characters. You will also need um, some sticky tape, some glue, some scissors. Some colouring in pencils or um, coloured pens or some paint, whichever you prefer. And you're also going to need something for your puppets. So you could use straws, for example, you could use a bit of cardboard, or you could use um, some lollipop sticks, for example. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to draw. A rectangle on the front of our box you can see it doesn't have to be perfect and you're also going to need to draw them on the side because this is where our puppets will slot into so that's the first thing that you need to do and you might need a little bit of help from an adult to do this one um, if you haven't got a craft knife I'm just gonna pop a little hole in the corner I made a little bit bigger. There we go. And this is where we are gonna stick our scissors into. So as you can see there, we're just gonna cut along the line. Sometimes it can be a little bit awkward, so I'm just gonna cut some of this out. And we can come back and trim up the edges once we've got rid of that. Sometimes it's easier to do it this way than trying to cut perfectly around the outside. There we go. So we're just going to get rid of all of this. going to go back in now and just kind of neaten it up a little bit. Don't worry if it looks a little bit messy because we're going to be decorating our box as well to turn it into our theatre. So you could decorate your box with some wrapping paper. If you've got some wrapping paper lying around you could do it in just plain paper and then colour on the outside. If you like painting, you could paint it. Sometimes it's a little bit hard to um, paint the cereal boxes, um, so you might need to paint it white first. Or you might need to do a few coats of paint. What I'm going to use to cover this box is I'm going to use some tissue paper. So I've got blue tissue paper. I'm going to use to make it look like it's under the sea. So I've just got a couple of sheets of this that I'm going to use with some prick stick. So once you put your hole in the middle of your box just like that, next thing I'm going to do is the sides. So again this is the hardest bit to do and it can be a little bit fiddly but it doesn't have to be really neat. You can see my lines aren't very neat.
So the reason why we've cut a hole into the side is for our puppets. So once they're stuck on the end, you can slide them in and you can move them around up and down to create your little puppet show. So that's what we're going to be doing. There we go, that is now the front hole cut into the box and there is the sides done as well. So the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to cover the outside of my box. So as you see, you can paint this if you want to paint it. You could cover it in wrapping paper, you could cover it in lots of different pictures if you wanted to. You could cut out of a magazine and cover it in pictures. Um, what I'm going to do, because I want this all to be underwater themed, is I'm just going to use some tissue paper and some glue. So let's start with the back. So I'm going to tear my tissue paper up because I want it to look a little bit crumbly. So I'm just going to, again, hold the box. Just going to very quickly cover this. And some glue. Hopefully I've got all the bits there. So you could just glue this in sections. I'm just doing this for quickness. Don't worry if you can still see through it because we're going to layer off a couple of different colours. and put a little bit more glue on. So again, this doesn't need to be neat. some extra glue as you go on. As you can see I've covered the box with the tissue paper. Again it doesn't matter if you can see the words so I'm going to show you how we're going to cover that. Um, I need to go back over and glue that but if you do find as it dries you've got any loose bits just go back over and glue them. So I've done the sides, I've done the front, I've done the top so I put some sellotape to close the flap and just covered it and if you can see I've also done the inside of the box as well. So once you've done that and you've got your box all covered, this is going to be our theatre. The next thing you're going to need is you're going to need something for the background. Now I've put the links in the description below but I'm going to use this um, printout. This one is from mrprintable.com. I just quite like this one. Um, and we're also going to use um, this um, colouring in sheet and this was from Crayola um, and we're going to use these to decorate our box but we're also going to use these to create our puppets. But again, you can draw your own fish, you could use this as inspiration, you could add to these um, for your background, you could have just used the tissue paper, you could have just painted it, you could have used a picture from a magazine for example, you can do whatever you Whatever you want, whatever you've got to hand, it doesn't have to be these, but if you do want these, you'll find the link in the description below. So, I've already coloured my background in, um, and the next thing to do is to trim it so it fits inside the box. So I'm just going to have a little test, because everyone's cereal boxes might be a little bit different, so you can see actually that this isn't a bad fit. Um, fits across the back quite nicely. I just need to take a little bit off the top. So, oh no, a little bit stuck. So, 
what I'm going to do is on this worksheet where we've got the sentence across the top I'm just going to cut that bit off and then it should fit nicely into the box going to take the print stick again just going to rub some across the back there I'm also going to rub some print stick across the top and around the outside of the sheet there's plenty on there and then I'm going to very carefully, so you might need a little bit of help to do this, took it into the box, Just position it, so I want it close to the bottom as possible, so there we go, then I'm just going to smooth it down. And that is the backdrop of our theatre that you can see there. Okay, so the next thing that we're going to do is I need to colour in our little sea creatures and cut those out, which I've already done um, here. And some of these I'm going to use for decoration. So, for example, where you can see the corner of the box. The original designs coming through. I'm going to add my seaweed to the bottom there. So I'm just going to use again a little bit more glue. It sticks really good for this kind of project. So I'm just going to put some on the corner there. I'm going to press that down, and there we go. There's the seaweed there. Um, and then I'm going to decide which ones of these that I would like to use as my puppets and I quite like this big fish here so you could use a straw if you've got a straw or if you've got um, lollipop sticks you could use a lollipop stick to create your puppet or if you've got a sheet of card you could cut a strip to turn that into your stick for your puppet just whatever you've got to hand, whatever you can use. I'm going to use this, this stick. So what we need to do is just turn it over. Um, with a bit of sellotape. space there. Just going to cut some tape to secure our stick to the back. I'll put a little, little bit on there and there we go we have our first little puppet or first fish swimming in the sea for our diver to find. So I'm going to make two of these, so that was our first one and I'm going to use, I think it's a squid. I'm going to do the same again. So there you go everybody, there is our finished underwater puppet theatre with our deep sea diver busy looking for fish. We've got our dangly fish just hanging from there, a little bit of a seaweed decoration and we can have our puppets coming from either side for our diver to find in our underwater adventure. Um, I have put a little rock in the bottom of mine, you can see that because it was wobbling a little bit so you could add um, a 
toy boat or something at the bottom is a shipwreck for them to find. So I hope you have fun making this. Um, I certainly had a lot of fun and you can do different designs. So see what else you can come up with. Thanks so much.